Hi guys, this is Tommy from Overboost Racing. This is my first video in English. I'm not a fluent English speaker, so you have to bear with me on this one. If you like what you see in this video and want me to make more of these English videos, the next one here would be very important. Write me a comment or thumbs up or something so I know that you are interested in this. And if you want to see more about dyno tuning cars, building engines, porting cylinder heads and especially Volvo Red Block and Swedish kind of tuning, this is the channel for you. If you're a Swedish watcher and you see this for the first time, there is a Swedish version of this video out. Here you have a crank that's kind of rusty. It's a regular Volvo 80mm stroke crank. Here I'm using 800 grit sandpaper to finish off before I'm polishing it. Uh, as a polish compound I'm using Autosol. I think that's a common company that are all around the world. And it's work really good on this one. You can see on the main bearings that it's a way to get really good right now. Here I'm cleaning out all the de debris from the polish and I'm measuring all, all the main bearing or, and rod bearing uh, taps. I'm measuring them 90 degrees apart so I can see that the uh, crank is round and not oval. Here we are in the balancer. It's an uh, important step for these engines to get a proper balanced crank with pulleys and uh, flywheels and clutches. Clutches for these engines are often pretty bad, I have to say. The Volvo things that come from Volvo is always kind of good parts. They are often used to be 2 or 3 grams unbalanced on the cranks but with an aftermarket set like this is with an aftermarket flywheel and aftermarket clutch there are often a lot of unbalance in this one and this ended really good 0 0.51 grams and 0 0.91 grams is a good result here we have rods age profile rods we are changing the rods that are in the engine because my customer uh, disassembled the engine at home and he, he mixed the rod caps and we have to we have to change the rods because it was too much risk to mismatch the rods caps again in his used rods here i see that i have a lot of problem with the uh, the wrist pin it was really really damaged and it was not straight anymore so i had to change the wrist pins in this one i'm also marking the the rods for him like right now so no mismatch will happen in the future here i'm making some sh shims so the rods can steer in the uh, piston section it's uh, Viseco pistons in this engine it's a it's a 16 valve pistons and it's an 8 valve engine it's a kind of smart way to make the engine work for the future uh, the reason why we are doing this rebuild is because of the the owner has crashed the car and broken the block in the gearbox area the the bolt pattern for the gearbox was broken so the block was unusable otherwise it was a working car with a working engine um, i don't know if you see that but it, on the fourth main cap there's a shorter ARP stud that's because of the oil pipe from the oil pump is going just above the RP stud so that's important to think of if you're building this one with ARP studs 
I, w- I would also say that this block is a regular B230 engine. It's everything that's come from Volvo 740 from 19, 1990 and uh, up to 1998 is usable. It's the, the best kind of B230 engines that are out there. Uh, here we are assembling the pistons with I'm inserting the pistons in the engine in this engine is regular 12.9 pins so no ARP studs for the cylinder head and as I go I'm torquing down the the rods step by step so I don't miss out anyone or mix match the the rod caps this is pretty all you need to get the 700 horsepower Volvo engine. A nice set of pistons, uh, slightly overbore, like in this, this, I think this is an 96.5 millimeter cylinders and they are 96 millimeters as standard. That's kind of the block you, you need to make this power. Here I'm checking out the broken oil pump that was broken in the accident just to see how how everything was i'm cleaning the new oil pump even if you clean the oil pump with an ultrasonic cleaner it will be debris in the filter so you have to make surely that you take it apart and check for parts that's stuck in the filter the cylinder head on this one is a pretty good one. It's a Volvo 531, 531. It's the best flowing stock casting for this kind of 8 valve engines. Uh, this is a working cylinder head, so I'm not doing an enormous overhaul. Just checking everything work. Uh, if you don't know what kind of flow I'm putting out this head sits around 230 to 240 CFMs on the intake and around 150 to 170 on the exhaust at 28 inch water scale. So it's a pretty damn good head and the camshaft in this one is a 14 millimeter lift camshaft so it's Got dual springs and all the goods in this one. Mounting the cylinder head on the engine block here is uh, nothing very important to think of. You have to be sure that you don't over tighten the head. You have to make sure that you retorque the head studs after the engine has been warm because they are losing some tension and there's a max value that you can torque this kind of engines uh, I would suggest that you only torque these engines 150 newton meters not a single newton meter more than that you, you can make a little little harder on the first startup around 120 newton meters but when you're driving with a car you have to make sure that you're not pushing the head too much or otherwise it will be a problem with the cracking cylinder heads and cracking blocks on this one. If you're still watching here in the middle of this video, maybe you think this is interesting and you should consider to subscribe to this channel and give me a comment so I know that English is something that I have to do in the future. I have a lot of videos planning to go out f on my shop here and uh, it would be nice to know if I have to make them in English as well. Right now the the channel is more for the Scandinavian in, in a Swedish language. But if you want to see me do it in English, make write me a comment. Uh, and, and this one has a regular distributor ignition 
no fancy things and all at all and that that works really good for this kind of power and here you see me mounting some mis miscellaneous stuff uh, just make it ready for transport in the end of this video you will see how the wrist pin and the connecting rod was really really worn out and so looks the machine when it's ready it's a really simple engine have been refurbished this head before and here we got the connecting rod the wrist pins just sliding off you can see it's it's really worn out let me know if you like this and uh, I will try to make more English voiceovers or videos. Thanks for watching.